Welcome students. Today we will be taking a look at group frequency distribution questions for data handling chapter for class 8 maths. So the problem statement is the weekly wages in rupees of 30 workers in a factory are 830, 835, 890, 810, 835 like this till 840. Using tally marks make a frequency table with intervals as 800 to 810. 810 to 820 and so on so this is a question of group frequency distribution and we need to first create the group frequency distribution table so solution will be given the interval is like 800 to 810 810 to 820 now the highest number in the wages is 898 so that means the interval will go till 890 to 900 so now using tally marks let's put the wages and the workers in the group frequency distribution table so the intervals are here are 800 to 810 810 to 820 820 to 830 like this till 890 to 900 now if we count the workers whose wages lies between 800 to 810 we get there are three workers so the frequency is three similarly if we find the workers whose wages are between 810 to 820 we find that there are two workers so the frequency is 2. Similarly, we can find the workers for each interval and we will get this frequency distribution table. Tally marks basically just means counting the number of workers. Question number 2. Now, draw a histogram for the frequency distribution made for the data in last question and answer the following question. Part 1. Which group has a maximum number of workers? How many workers earn rupees 350 and more? How many workers earns less than rupees 850? Now here we need to first draw the histogram based on the data and then we need to give the answer for the these three parts. The answer to these three parts can be obtained from the table itself also but let's try to find out from the frequency distribution graph. So now let's first draw the graph. So the intervals would be represented on the horizontal axis that is the weekly wages and the number of workers would be represented on the vertical axis and we design the height of the bar graph as per the frequency so now let's take a look at the first part which group has a maximum number of workers now we know that in a histogram the maximum height represent the maximum number of frequency so in this case 800 and 840 group has a maximum number of workers now the second question is how many workers earns rupees 850 and more. So in frequency distribution bar graphs we can represent that as all the bars after the interval 840 to 850. Now if we count all those frequencies we will get as 10 workers. So the part third is how many workers earns less than rupees 850. Now that can be represented as the shown in figure all the bars below the point 850. And that means we need to sum the frequencies in all the intervals from 800 to 850. So if we count them, that comes to 820 workers. 20 workers earns less than 850. So this way we can solve the problem based on frequency group distribution. Hope you like that. For more notes and study material, please visit our website physiscatalyst.com.